It was a rain-soaked thriller at the LR Hill Sports Complex tonight, but the Monarchs pulled it out 3-2 against Quinnipiac in a, in a crucial uh, Big East game. Coach, um, overall thoughts on the game? You started quick, jumped out to a 2-0 lead in the first half. Yeah, as, uh, as is our habit, we started great. Um, and I thought we, we really controlled the play first half. We're playing great, moving the ball really well, um, and didn't really let them get into the game at all. Um, so dominated from there. Um, second half was a bit of a different story. The weather was tough, and uh, they, they picked up the energy a little bit after uh, we got our third goal. And I think a couple of lucky bounces, maybe uh, one goal that I wasn't sure got a touch in the circle. But um, they came back and made a game of it. But I thought we showed uh, great toughness and uh, really had the upper hand on them. Talk about that resilience. You're up 3-0. The skies open up. It starts pouring down. They scored two goals to cut the lead to one. But you really controlled uh, the tempo, it seemed like, for the final 10, 15 minutes to hold on for the win. Yeah, that's always a tough situation when you feel like you've, you've got a lead and you're a little comfortable maybe. Uh, maybe we didn't lock it down 100% and then they started to build some momentum. Uh, the nice thing was that on the field they were able to, um, to control things and, and limit, their chan limit Quinnipiac's chances, um, which was great. I don't think they had too many open chances in the second half um, or in the second half of the half after they, sco they scored their two goals. So, yeah, good resilience and um, I think you know, we've played, we've played a bunch of games this season where we've played really quite well and we haven't come away with a result. So today we, uh, we didn't play well for the entire 70 minutes, but we played well for the majority. Had a little bit of a setback, but we were able to come away with a win. And now in the first half, it was two true freshmen that got you on the board, Alexis Gingrich and Anouk Vandersteen, scoring their first career go uh, goals. How big was that uh, to get the offense going from the newcomers? Yeah, it's great. I thought our corners were good. Um, we, <laughs> it's hard to keep track sometimes. We have a lot of people scoring goals, um, which is a great thing. So it's difficult to, you know, you're not going to lock in on one person. Um, so it's nice to have, it's, it's a great bonus to have two freshmen score. Um, but. The, the, the whole team is working together, and uh, I think we're getting contributions from a lot of people, and that's the key to, to staying together down the stretch. And now three and two in Big East play with this victory. What kind of momentum does this give you going into a non-conference showdown against a top 25 uh, opponent, William & Mary, on Sunday? Yeah, I think uh, I think RPI-wise, we're right we're right next to them. I think we're 21. I, they may they may be 20. So I think we're we're really tight. Um, and we we had a great game against them in the spring. Um, they're a good team, well coached team. Um, I think it'll be a, a great matchup. So I wouldn't I wouldn't really think momentum is too much uh, at this point. Um, it'll just just looking forward to a good game. Again, the Monarchs a 3-2 victory over Quinnipiac in rain-soaked Norfolk. For the head coach, Andrew Griffiths, I'm Tim Wentz with Monarch Media.